Hello guys, what's up? I hope you'll be fine and good. I'm Surish Designer and in this tutorial I'm going to talk about how we can create high poly trees in SketchUp. So before we start this tutorial, like and subscribe, don't forget it and let's get to work. Alright, I need some type of famous plugin called 3D Tree in SketchUp. It's called 3D Arc Studio 3D Maker and when I click on it, I can see this type of box in here. So I'm gonna left click and drag it in this place we have two important options in here one of them is the new tree and one of them is the uh, make grass another option is re related to the uh, proxies and reader of the uh, trees so for creating different type of high poly trees in a sketchup you only need to click on the new tree in this place now you can increase your window size but it's not let you in here so we have some type of box in here I'm gonna click on it I can see some different type of popular trees and plants and flowers in this place as you can see for example we have type of rose tree in here so I'm gonna click it and I can see this some type of preview of it in this place so when I click on the OK I can see this type of thing in my 3d view and 3d sketchup Another option is the vine tree. As you can see, very simple, small tree about the vines. And another is the generic flower plant. As you can see, this type of. But sometimes we can create generic trees. For example, I'm going to click on the generic tree 41. As you can see, we have this type of tree in our model. Or palm tree like this. Or something like the uh, olive tree. Actually, I want to select some type of high detail tree, something like that, or something like this. For example, this one. I'm going to press OK. And now I must to click on one of my places in 3D SketchUp and wait to create it. All right, as you can see, this 3D model has been created for us. It's really heavy. It's really high poly. And you can click on the view option, edge style, and turn off the profiles to have a smoother environment in the SketchUp. So as you can see, the details of this tree is really amazing. All of them has been the textures, PNG, PBR, and high poly things like that. And it's really good. You can adjust the materials of this tree very simple and easy. So you can click on the paint bucket in this place. You can click on the uh, sample paint and choose this bark of the tree. So I'm going to click on it. As you can see this material, I can change my colors in here or I can turn it to the RGB code to change my tree's color. Something like that as you can see. Or I can change the uh, color of these leaves in here. For example, I want something green, so I'm going to increase the greenness on it, as you can see, like that. Very simple and easy. It's really useful in your 3D models, actually, when you render with V-Ray, because V-Ray rendering engine have lots of great things for converting your render to some type of realistic rendering, and it's really useful in your exterior renderings. So, uh, I'm going to delete this. Another time I'm going to try another new tree. For example, this time I'm going to select something like the uh, rose tree, for example. Now I must find the uh, rose tree in this place. Where is the rose tree? Rose tree is here. So I'm going to press OK. And in this place I'm going to have some type of small rose tree. So I click on it and i think after the minute you can see this type of special high poly trees on it actually this type of trees is really famous and you can use it in different type of works and parts so uh now i'm gonna delete this option in here so we learn how to create some generic tree for example something like the cannabis or ripple below 
or something like the oak for example I'm gonna create this type of oak in here actually drawing the stems takes some time in the SketchUp it depends on your hardware accelerator and performances so this is one of the things we have in here now I'm gonna draw some type of face in here so I'm gonna click on the make grass as you can see I can select my type of the grass for example default generic grass is good and you can change some type of things like the uh, ratio of the height I want to increase it or the variation I'm going to increase it xy minimum xy maximum z minimum and z maximum as you can see we can change them it depends on you or place normal to the faces make proxies or other type of things so now I'm going to click on the place instant and it's going to say first select your face so I'm going to select my face in here in the SketchUp now I want to place instant as you can see this type of details in 3d model has been created for you and it's really useful for you so you can delete this and everything is done you can download this 3d plugin for the SketchUp from 3d warehouse I hope you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, don't forget it and goodbye.